What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back on the white truck, getting this thing completely ready for the Raptor liner. So, last video, if you didn't see it, we got it all masked up, all ready to go, sanded down completely, 100% prepped out, ready to go. So what we need to start with today is getting some areas spot primed that need a little bit of primer that were bare metal or little fillers I sanded through. So that's what we're gonna start with, getting this thing primed out. So what I'm gonna do is prime this whole bottom area here areas like this where there's bare metal i sanded through there a little bit there because the paint was kind of crappy and flaking a little bit a little bit up there um right there i'm just going to go around like i said hit these filler areas where i sanded through with some epoxy primer the bottom of that cab right there so that's where we're going to start with this thing's all ready to go so what we got to do is clean it and then we can hose some epoxy on it. So that's what I'm gonna be using to clean it with, just some prep all wax and grease remover. So we'll go through, clean the entire truck with that. And then I'm just using some Omni epoxy primer. So let's get to work, get this thing cleaned up and ready for some primer. All right guys, got the epoxy on the truck, looking good. Got this whole, basically the whole bottom side over here done. So that's gonna be all nice and sealed up and should work pretty good. So I'm gonna give that epoxy overnight to set up all the way. I could probably spray it today, but we have dinner plans tonight and I don't wanna be halfway through the truck and not be able to finish. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to start spraying the Raptor. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get the entire, basically the entire shop masked up. So all the walls, the floor I already kind of started over here got everything set up got the flares those little pieces for the bed the cowl and the tailgate so that's all basically ready to spray so I'm gonna go through and finish the floor get the walls and then we'll just have to come out in the morning give the truck one more good cleaning with the wax and grease remover and then we can basically go straight into spraying the Raptor All right guys, got the shop all the way masked off, floors masked off, everything is masked. So we're gonna get out here tomorrow morning, get the shop warmed up, give this thing a wipe down, and we are ready to spray. So I actually bought three kits of the Tintable Raptor. I have one bottle left over from when I did the engine bay, 
and I have a quart and a pint of color. I know it's probably more than I'll need, but I'd rather have extra than to run out. So we got that. Um, I got the professional Raptor gun, which is so much better than the cheap gun. This is the one they send you for free when you buy a kit. It works, but this one works a lot better. And especially if you're doing like a whole truck like I am, you're gonna want the good gun to get you that nice even texture on the truck. So we'll get out here in the morning and we'll get spraying. All right guys, now the next morning. So what we gotta do is wipe the entire truck down with the wax and grease remover, get it cleaned up, and we are ready to spray. So let's get wiping and spraying. All right guys, whole truck's wiped down, ready to go. So I'm getting ready to mix up the Raptor. So what I'm gonna do is instead of mixing it all in the bottle with the color and everything, I'm gonna mix probably, I don't know, three bottles at a time in this cup. And that'll get me more consistent color and I can actually make sure the liner and everything is mixed 100% and then we'll dump it back in the bottles. So I'll probably shoot for about two and a half to three ounces of color per bottle and then use eight ounces of hardener. So let's get this mixed up and get spraying.
there it is guys all done Matt unmasked turned out pretty good there's definitely some irregularities I guess you could say in the uh, texture really hard to get really really consistent but for the most part looks really good so you can see right here it's a little bit got a little bit more uh, Raptor right there probably from when I came down the pillar and then I came back over when I did the fender it loaded up that area a little bit more but honestly that might fade out a little bit as it dries and cures it's only been about an hour it's dried up a little bit but it's still very soft I think they actually say three days to get it wet you can't get it wet at all for three days and 100% total cure time I believe was like seven days so it takes a while to fully cure I know my flatbed was kind of streaky you can see the hood is a little bit streaky my flatbed was really really bad when I first sprayed it and then it faded out after it cured so I'm really hoping this streakiness will fade it's really only the hood and that's just because it's harder to spray and get a good solid pattern all the body panels here like doors fenders everything else looks really good no no streaking at all so I'm very happy with how it turned out so far we'll have to wait till it uh, cures up and then we start putting it together the uh, bed on this side it's got some dents I really I knew they were there but they're, they look a little bit bigger now with some actual paint on it not all sanded down and crappy looking but either way I wasn't going for a uh, show truck obviously so that will do and then also this bed so we got to go through and re kind of just hit it with some uh, scotch bright scuff up the overspray that landed in here and then we got to mask off the entire well actually I may just pull the bed off get the truck out of here pull the bed off throw it on saw horses and then I'll just have to mask the bed off on the outside and we can spray the whole inside with just regular black Raptor and I think that'll give it some really nice accent so I'm also curious what you guys want to see for wheels I know I get a lot of crap for having 20s on the red truck I'm gonna probably stay at 15s I feel like with the dark green and the black everywhere I feel like I need black wheels I was thinking about powder coating these I actually found a couple other sets on Craigslist so I don't know I might go pick up another set probably go 33s with a set of black 15s I think that'll look pretty good on here here's the tailgate the cowl and flares this all turned out really good so it's a waiting game now I gotta wait probably I'll probably give it two three days maybe to start putting this thing back together we can throw all the doors back together get all the windows in all the gaskets seals everything get this bed lined I'll probably want to give this bed like at least three four days before I want to mask on top of the Raptor so let the stuff harden up and then we can get the truck back together get the bed lined on the inside and see how this thing looks so I actually got some other really cool plans for this thing a lot of you guys have actually guessed what I'm gonna do and I'm not gonna tell you yet but stay tuned on the channel we got some more cool things to do to the truck we're not done yet we still got like I said wheels and tires and some other really cool plans so stay tuned on the channel I'm gonna cut this video right here guys I really hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think about the Raptor I know a lot of you guys wanted to see it I'm probably gonna get some hate on it but I think it turned out good for a truck like this I think it looks really good so go down in the comments let me know what you think we'll see you guys in the next one